The Vikings left their mark on history as invaders and cruel plunderers, but they were also bold warriors, fearless explorers, and great navigators. During their incursions against other territories, the Viking warriors were led by warlords known as Earls, whose number of responsibility was to choose the targets to be attacked, to ensure good in the army, and to split the plunder goods of the cities and villages. Generally speaking, most Viking captains were happy to attack merchant ships or coastal villages, getting back to their homeland with wealth and slaves. But some wanted more than ephemeral riches, they dreamed of conquering land for cultivation and animal husbandry, with the intent to establish permanent settlements. One of the most successful leaders of the Viking era was Rollo, later known as Rollo of Normandy. Rollo's birthplace is still a subject of discussion among researchers, varying between Denmark and Norway, around the year 860 AD. The details of Rollo's youth are still obscure, and many of his accomplishments have a semi-legendary portrait, like that of the famous Ragnar Lothbrok. Sources suggest that Rollo was a member of a noble lineage, having received proper training in fighting and commanding warriors in battle. Rollo soon became a promising and ambitious warlord, leading invasions in the region of the western frontier, where France is today. At the time, it was ruled by the Kingdom of the Franks. The first invasions in France were unsuccessful. The Vikings lost and were expelled. But they would not be kept away for long. A few years later, they returned with a large army which attacked the city of Rowan, leaving it in ruins. Ancient writings tell that Rollo engaged and commanded Viking invasions between 876 and 886 against Paris, a remarkable achievement since Paris was a formidable city with high walls and reinforced gates. Paris had been built on a portion of land surrounded by the River Seine. It would have taken more than 100 Viking ships to surround the city, seeking to appease the situation with the Viking invaders while protecting his kingdom from certain destruction. King Charles III of France, also known as Charles the Simple, started to pay an increasing amount of silver to persuade the Nordic leaders not to attack his territory. Rollo was one of the leaders who accepted the tributes and even developed a close relationship with King Charles. Rollo received the valuable proposal to take over land in France, where he could bring in other Nordic settlers and start a new life on more fertile land. The condition for this agreement was that Rollo and his warriors would have to protect the kingdom of the West Francia against attacks by other Viking lords. This sort of proposal was common at the time, and many Viking captains accepted it without much resistance. However, as soon as they received the payment, they went back to their ships and set sail in search of new targets to attack or extort. But Rollo respected his commitment to King Charles and stood firm in defending his lands taking part in important battles and defeating his former Viking fellows. As a reward for his loyalty, King Charles offered his daughter, Princess Gisela, to marry Rollo. But the marriage cost something, and Rollo had to agree to be baptized and convert to Christianity. With that, he would be tied to the royal family and the Frank kingdom. With the marriage now officialized, Rollo finally received, in 911, the right to the Promised Lands. And, as in the ancient French language, the Nordic were now called Normans. This territory became known as Normandy, the land of the northern men, whose capital was the reconstructed city of Rouen. Although Rollo is known as the Duke of Normandy, there are no contemporary records that he has received this title in his lifetime. The fact is that, after Rollo took command of Normandy, there were no further attempts at Viking invasions in the region proving the great military ability of its new inhabitants. Rollo's influence kept growing in the royal court. New Nordic settlers arrived in Normandy, expanding its borders. Even after Rollo's death in 930, his descendants continued to rule over Normandy for many generations to come. His great-great-great-great-grandson, William I, conquered England in 1066, becoming the first Norman king of England. Rollo's life can be regarded as a success story. He managed to triumph where many failed, preferring to build a future for his people rather than seeking chaos and destruction.